Hi guys, this is Fusion Design 1 or VAL uh, with tutorial number 3 uh, which I'll be covering advanced uh, smudging uh, so let me quickly say if you're watching this on iGraphic Master's channel click in the link, maybe give me a sub, like, comment, whatever you want uh, and if you're watching this on the tutorial community which is a community I've recently joined uh, Click on the click on the link in the description. Maybe give me a sub if you enjoy this tutorial. Leave some comments, uh, suggesting more tutorials. Uh, I do After Effects, Photoshop, uh, Cinema 4D, and Cubase 5. I'm sure you all know a bit about them all, but yeah, whatever you want me to do. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's open the the photos. Uh, we're gonna do this one today. Uh, I use this in my uh, speed art entry to shift arts contest. If you haven't seen that, maybe uh, go to my channel, watch it. Uh, maybe give me some feedback on it, whether you liked it or not. But yeah, let's start. Okay. Smudge. So smudging is the kind of flow of the bo the motion kind of kind of I don't know maybe leftover of the like kind of showing where the imp the person was before. So since he's moving that way to the right, uh, that means they'll he'll leave a kind of a motion track behind him on the left. So that's what effectively what smudging is. So a lot of people just take the smudge the smudge brush, grab this you know, this chalk brush and then start going like that and they, they think it's you know, ah, oh, it looks, looks alright, I mean it does sometimes it can look alright, but very, very rarely so yeah seem to have messed up the image somehow so I mean tutorials, something always goes wrong. Uh, sorry, uh, I don't know why I tried to plan this one. Uh, okay, that's the last thing that goes wrong in this tutorial. Uh, so, yep. Yeah. So I explained to you what it was. Uh, that was. That's not very good smudging, basically. Uh, what you want to do to have good smudging to make it look good, click the smudge tool, go onto uh, the soft, the small hard brush, maybe around eight pixels, thirty percent of strength, and then you yeah, want to start kind of giving it a bit of, not too much but a bit of only on the edges of things <coughs> remember you have to pull it to the left because if you pull it to the right it just looks kinda rubbish uh, I haven't done this or I haven't made a duplicate image yet but remember always you should do that uh, in case something goes wrong that you need to start in the beginning uh, so yeah that kinda that's the kinda beginning of it, remember, 30% strength, 8 pixels on the second brush, uh, a little bit more to get the color flowing, it kind of look like he's scraping before, uh, oops, yeah, that's alright, uh, then next what you want to do, because that, that looks alright, it looks pretty good for the first bit, uh, and what you want to do is go to the chalk button, chalk brush, sorry, uh, make it, you know, a bit bigger. Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, keep the strength at 30%. Now you want to gonna add some shape dynamics, 100% uh, size jitter, angle jitter of around 20%. Which I always use, which is why it's like that already. 
scattering, uh, yeah, around, you know, about here, about there. You don't want to go like that because it's too straight. You don't want to go like that because it's too far apart and you can't control it. So, about there. Oh, there looks good. Um, so yeah, then start kind of smudging. Uh, it adds kind of a grime, grime effect to it. Uh, and it looks, it looks quite nice. Like, Bob, that's what I personally think. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is stage two, the three stage kind of idea of smudging uh, looks pretty good uh, yeah uh, so remember 30% add the shape dynamics 100% 0 20% uh, around 160 to 190% uh, of scatter turn oh transfer I forgot transfer uh, you want to keep the strength jitter on 100%. Uh, so yeah, it looks yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. Um, and then the third part, you're gonna want to go back to the uh, first br brush you use. Um, make it you know pretty small because this will be using for the fingers, so you kind of want to make it the same size as the fingers. Uh, make sure it's on 80% this time, or you know, around there. Okay, this is a little bit big, but so if you have it too big, it just looks horrible. Maybe three. Uh, let's maybe zoom in a little bit. Not very good resolution picture, sorry about it, but yeah. I didn't want to use that, you know, the overused image. But, you know, the dancer kind of, yeah, kind of adds a bit of effect, you know, with the fingers. It looks, it's, it's, it's very small, but you can see it, it's there, and it's, it looks. It kind of shows the strength of the motion, how fast he's moving. Um, next, uh, you could even do it maybe if he has kind of a string or something hanging down from here. You could like make it move, or if he's wearing short sleeve, uh, tr what do you call them, uh, jacket or t-shirt, you can pull and kind of maybe wrap it wrap it around his arm and eventually touch one of his fingers, you know, you, you use, come up with your own thing, uh, but the finger thing is just the basic stuff. Uh, okay, so it's not been too long. Uh, then what you're going to want to do is go onto the, make a new layer, uh, go onto the brush, <coughs> Sorry, I have a bad cough. So, uh, choose a, a brush, uh, a smoke brush you have. Uh, I'm going to choose a pretty simple one. Uh, far too small. That's still too small. That's alright. It's not a very good brush, but yeah. Uh, now, for the shoes, you'd want it to be white, or maybe not white because it's really fair. You want it the same color as the shoes, which is that. So, click the, and then add, you can add like kind of different parts to it, and then maybe, you know, turn a little bit, add there, add there. Uh, and turn it again, and add a part there, uh, there, oh no, okay, and then, and then, uh, take your, what are they called again? 
I drop a tool. Um, and get the block. Do it again here. Do the same stuff. You can, you can obviously change the brush for something else to add a bit of uh, variety into your work. Uh, and then once you've you know added those parts, because this is a new layer, you'll be able to use the eraser tool and erase the parts you don't like. So personally, I don't like that part there, and this is a bit long. So is that. Uh, that's a bit too long. Rather. See, these, this one and the one that was here were too similar to be close to each other. So, maybe shorten this to add a bit of variety. Um, that looks a bit better. But yeah, that looks a lot better. Um, so, yeah, um... I don't know why I click that. Uh, yeah. uh, so that is actual pixels. So I think that the final the the image looks quite nice. And obviously, uh, like I did in my speed art, uh, you can add the logo and add some nice smudging to it, or you can even add text for that fact. Uh, you can write. I don't know what, what you want to write. Uh, smudge. Like I did. Uh, so it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look great, but the text I should have changed in my speed out, but doesn't matter or not. Uh, oh yeah, the text will not let you uh, smudge it until you race rasterize it. You could either just do it by that and clicking OK, or you could go right click rasterize layer first. Uh, so yeah, kind of play around with this. I'm sure you could come, you can come up with something. Kind of maybe pull up a little bit. Remember, for this part, for text, you only want it pretty weak. You don't want it to be too drastic. Uh, Maybe the S because it's one of those like letters which come and go to one side. So look alright on the S. Uh, yeah. So th this kind of thing with the text is pretty like standard simple way of doing it. Uh, they're much... it's not very... it's not very kinda... you're not changing a lot but you can see that there's a difference and I think for the better as a bit of kinda meaning to it. Um, yeah, I... so that's the end of the tutorial basically. Uh, you can, yeah, that, that's the end of the tutorial basically. Um, so, if you're watching uh, this on the uh, tutorial community, be sure to click on the link in the description. Maybe give me a, hit me a sub if you enjoyed this and leave a comment, please, telling me what tutorial you want next. Um, also, also um, if you're watching this on iGraphic Masters channel and you liked it, maybe uh, hit it, give it a like, uh, PM me if you want any image, Im any GFX made. Uh, also, maybe hit me a sub if you liked it. Uh, okay, thanks, thanks guys. Uh, that's it for me, and goodbye.